Seth here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you're a new user, please consider subscribing. If you're a returning user, thank you so much for watching my video. Leave your comment in the comment section as always and make sure you check out my poll. Now, after PJ Dillashaw knocked out Cody Garbrandt for the second time, uh, both John Anik and Joe Rogan declared him to be the GOAT at Bantamweight. Post fight, TJ said that he is he's the goat at bantamweight. I am the best bantamweight of all time. Now, when I was watching the fight, and if you haven't seen my fight reaction, make sure you click the link down below. To watch that. I was going hell. No, he's not. He's a very very good fighter. He's certainly up there as one of the best bantamweights of all time. But as far as who the goat is, in my mind, there is no question that Dominic Cruz is still the best bantamweight of all time. Before you state your opinions, I think you gotta look at the facts here, right? Who's won the belt? Who's defended the belt? I know everyone's gonna talk about UFC, but believe it or not, the bantamweight division existed before the UFC absorbed the WEC. And just because the UFC didn't have it, that doesn't mean that the WBC did not exist or the WEC 135 was less meaningful or it didn't mean anything. No, it, it, it meant that at that time, the best 135ers, right? The best 145ers and all these smaller weight classes, they went to the WEC. Take a look at Dominic Cruz's history. You know, he won the WEC belt way back in 2010 when he stopped Brian Bowles. He defended it two more times in WEC. He went to the UFC and he defended it two more times. He had a total of four defenses before he had to vacate due to, you know, his long list of injuries. Then when he finally came back, I mean, he won the belt against TJ Dillashaw. And he also defended it against Uriah Faber. So he has one title defense after he beat TJ Dillashaw. Obviously, he lost to, to Cody Garbrandt in his second defense. Now, let's take a look at TJ Dillashaw. He won the belt against Hinnom back in 2014. And he defended it two times. And then he lost to Dominic Cruz. And now he got the belt back against Cody Garbrandt last year. And he defended against him this year. So if you take a look at belts, Dominic Cruz is a two-time champion and he has totaled five defenses in the bantamweight division. TJ Dillashaw is also a two-time champion and he has totaled three title defenses. So if you just look at championship stats, Dominic Cruz is, is better. Number two, Dominic Cruz already beat TJ Dillashaw when Dillashaw was the champion the first time around. And when he came back, he came from a two-year layoff. This guy only fought one time uh, in the last like four years, and that was against Mizugaki, which only lasted a minute. And he came back and he fought the best man to win at that time. TJ Dillashaw was killing it, and it was a great fight, but he won that fight. I don't know who else can do that, you know? What other fighter do you know that can come back uh, from a two-year layoff, right? And not a layoff where he was just kind of chilling, you know, sitting down and just doing nothing. He was actually recovering from injury after injury after injury. Come back, fight the best bantamweight in the world right then and beat him. Who else can do that? Name me one other fight that can do that. You know, and please don't say GSP because Michael Bisping, God bless him, while he was a champion, he was not the best middleweight in the world. I think there was a reason why GSP came back and fought him at that, at that stage in his career. But I can't think of any other fight, a fighter that has done that in the history of not only the bantamweight division, but in the history of mixed martial arts. Okay, off the top of my head, I can't. I have a problem with Joe Rogan, John Anik saying that he is, that TJ Dillashaw is the best right now. I mean, but he's the best right now, but he's the best of all time. No, he's not. You know, I think Joe is quick to jump on the bandwagon. And that's the issue that I have with fans. Uh, because they are so quick to forget. You know, it's all about what have you done for me lately. People forgot about the WEC days. People forgot about Dominic Cruz's reign, right? Everyone kept talking about DJ versus TJ. You know who beat Demetrius Johnson? Dominic Cruz. It was a one-sided beatdown, right? They fought for the title at 135, and Cruz absolutely threw him around. It wasn't even close. And I don't know why TJ would not want that. He just said that he's the greatest fighter, uh, a bantamweight fighter of all time. Well, prove it because you have the champion right now in Dominic Cruz, the former champion, who's only one years older than you, right? He is still technically in his prime. And if you can beat him, then it's hard to argue that TJ is not the greatest of all time, right? He has to beat him and he has to beat him convincingly. That is the only fight to make. And I'm sorry to Rafael Asensio or... Uh, Marias, but Dominic Cruz's Dillashaw is the only fight to make at 135. 
That's the fight the fans want to see. The media wants to see that. Everybody wants to watch that fight. That's the fight that has to happen. And for TJ to be declared the greatest of all time, he has to be Dominic Cruz, who is right here, right now. It's not like Dominic Cruz is way past his prime and hasn't been relevant in years. Like, Dominic Cruz is still here. Even though he hasn't fought in a while, he is still here. And the fans want to see that fight. I want to see that fight. And uh, I think, you know, stylistically, that's going to be TJ's toughest fight. So let me know in the comment section. Let me know if you guys want to watch that fight. Um, and let me know who's going to win. Do you think Dominic, Dominic Cruz can come back again from a two-year layoff and, and gave TJ Dillashaw a business? Or maybe Dillashaw is right now the best, right? He's like evolved from two, two, two three years ago when he lost to Cruz. And, uh, you know, he's going to whoop Cruz. I don't know. But I think Dominic Cruz still has it. And I want to see that fight.